Hi all, in this video we're going to take a look at another drill used in prop firms as part of their intern education program. Now in an earlier video we took a look at something called the cut and reverse drill. This drill is a little tougher to do than the cut and reverse drill and so our recommendation is that you get the most from the cut and reverse drills before moving to this drill. Now it's going to be hard if you think about this drill in terms of winning and losing. This is not about winning or losing, it's about learning. And the drill itself is quite simple. You need to place trades with a target of one tick. You get your one tick or you get out of the market. Now the point of this exercise is not to learn to trade for one tick profit. The one tick profit is basically forcing you to enter the market over and over again. So the entries you take could in a real market, in a real trading situation, get you more than one tick. But we want you to focus on the entry and not sit in trades for any length of time. So unlike the cut and reverse drill, you don't need to be in the market all of the time, but you do need to be aiming to trade frequently. Now, there's a lot of parameters you could apply to that. So you might, for instance, ask, well, where should my stop be? Should I use stop orders or limit orders? Should I use a hard stop? And answering those questions would actually defeat the objective of you doing the exercise. So you may have opinions on these things now, but they'll likely change as you progress. Now this drill is normally intended to be applied to a thicker market. So thicker markets like the US Treasuries or Eurostoxx 50. Now my opinion though, is there's as much to learn doing this drill on thinner markets like crude oil. The problem with doing it on crude oil is that you simply can't work your way out of losing trades in the same way on a faster market like crude as you could on a slower market like Euro stocks. And that's why you don't need to make this about winning or losing. Because if you make it about winning or losing, a couple of three tick losers on crude, that's gonna make you feel bad and then most likely you'll stop doing the drill. And it would be silly to stop because if you do this drill, you'll learn more about the market in eight hours than most people learn in six months. So where would you actually enter a trade? Well, let's give you a few clues about that. So you pay attention to short-term trading ranges that form, especially the extremes of those ranges. You pay attention to where the market has momentum when it's putting in a directional move and trying to join that momentum. You pay attention to areas where an exceptional amount of contracts trade. You pay attention to areas where the bids and offers are particularly high. You pay attention to areas, for example, where the bids get pulled, the market ticks down, but then immediately ticks back up. So you're looking for that manipulation. You pay attention to key prices, such as a revisit to the daily high. Now you'll need to make some notes to make sure that you get the most from this. So I'd advise focusing your notes on the following items. So first, how trades tend to work out when entering at limit versus entering at market. Whether the limit or market effect was different when playing off different events. So, you know, whether you, it's better to enter a limit order when you're in a momentum move versus the extreme of a range. You need to note which entries tended to work well, which entries went badly. And you also need to note how long the trades lasted because some trades you're gonna find that you win very quickly and some trades you find it just market just dies uh, and doesn't go anywhere. Now what I'd also say is don't enter a trade if there's no reason to do so. So you need a reason, you need something to lean on before you enter a trade. Now this drill is over when you reach $300 profit or loss or you run out of time. Now on a thicker market like the Euro stocks, that could possibly take you all day. On a thinner market like crude, could take you just a few hours. Now once you hit your profit and loss target, assess your performance, think about the lessons learned, and then start again. And you should actually see improvement as you carry on. So let's look at a few trades. Now I'd recommend you get a CQG demo account to do these drills, because the fills on those demo accounts are very accurate. Doing this with a platform-based simulator, like a NinjaTrader simulator, is pointless, uh, because the fills won't be realistic. If you look at the description for this video, we'll actually give you the links to a CQG demo account. The first trade is very simple. The market has traded an exceptional amount into 54.13. It appears that the buyers are absorbing the selling. 
So we're leaning on that and presuming the market will tick up in the short term. In this case, we enter using a limit order. It takes a couple of minutes to get a fill, so I cut out the waiting time in the middle. We get the fill, market ticks up, and we get out of the trade after one tick. An interesting scenario here, we actually have a momentum move up, and I'm trying to join that momentum move up with limit orders, and as I put limit orders in, the market keeps moving away from me, so I eventually get in uh, with a market order using a hotkey, and you can see once I get in, I'm immediately out of the market. Next thing I try and do, I try and keep chasing that momentum as it moves up, but this time the momentum's failed. We can see traders are starting to hit into the bid side, sellers are coming in, and again, trying to exit on the limit order and seeing the impact of trying to use the limit order on a more volatile market, and we actually see the market slip uh, a few ticks before we can actually get out. And that's one of those examples where crude or a thicker, thinner market isn't going to let you out of the trade so easily. Here we have 779 contracts traded into the bid on Euro stocks. So we think just at the moment, the buyers are holding it there. So we enter a long trade. And what we can see on the Euro stocks, we have a lot more time to make a decision. We can see the market keeps ticking down, but then immediately after every tick down, it ticks up. So to me, that's kind of a sign of manipulation, a sign that the market's not really weak with those tick downs. So what we're doing, we're just sitting in the trade waiting for that trade to work out. Like I say, it will take longer for these trades on a thicker market to work out, which is why it's gonna take you longer to hit your profit or loss target for the day. And eventually we get a fill and exit the trade at one tick. And now we can start looking for the next trade. And a very similar trade here. I see a lot of size trading into the bid. So it looks like the bidders are holding it. I join that bid and again, there's a difference on Euro stocks and crude, thick versus thin markets on whether you can join or not. So I'm trying to join that bid and we get our fill. We have our target trade on. But what happens in this instance, we still see most of the trading hitting into the bid side. So there's not really any buyers here buying this market, helping us to continue the momentum up. And as we move on, we can see more and more trading into the bid side so I basically exit that trade because I feel there's too much selling going on to really justify staying in the trade. And that's it for the drills. Now I hope the examples gave you a good idea about the level of engagement you need to have with the market when you're doing these drills. If you do really badly when you start doing these drills, that is a really good thing. If you're perfect and you win every trade, you don't actually have that much to learn from it. On the other hand, if you start off losing most of your trades, you have the most progress to make. That means you stand to make serious gains doing these drills. Of course, some people will do the drills for 10 minutes, lose four or five trades and give up. And those people will gain nothing. If you're disciplined with a real desire to make it as a trader, then you will stick with this. The prop shop trainees that do this don't have the opportunity to walk away from this exercise. That would effectively be the end of their trading career. So remember that if this is something professional traders have to do when starting out, you at home should give this a chance. And with that, I wish you good luck and I would love to know how you get on with this. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.